What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Jay Reed, for Jay Reed's Love of Cars. So, you just got your C6 Corvette, or maybe you've had your Corvette for a long time now, but you've never been to the track. Well, this is the video for you. Let's dive right into it. So, this is just a little quick video to talk about some of the stuff that you need to be aware of when you are going to your track, to the track for the first time. First of all, you want to make sure that your car is in good working, car, working order. The last thing you want is a raggedy ass car going down the track because all you're going to do is highlight how raggedy your car is. Now, if you weren't running stock tires, which we are going to assume you are, there's one thing that you need to do initially. It'll help a little bit, it won't help a lot. The tire pressure on a stock tire is 30 PSI. You want to drop it to 20 to 25 PSI. The reason is that's going to give you a little bit more of a contact patch on the surface to hopefully add a little bit of traction. That's very important. You won't be able to do too much on a stock tire, but every little thing helps, trust me. So you also probably wanna keep a little air compressor in your car at some point because you wanna air that tire back up before you go home. Now, you, you're at the track. You and your buddies hanging out, you're having a good time. When you tar, turn your car on to go up to the starting line, there's a couple of things you wanna do. And you can really practice this at home because the more you have got this particular step down, the better it is for you before you go to the track where you got the adrenaline, you got the nerves pumping and everything else. You are going to want to turn off traction control. Be sure you turn off traction control and here's why. If you do not turn off tra traction control and you get ready to do a burnout, you're gonna mess up everything underneath your car. That's just a simple way of saying turn it off because if you don't turn it off, when you get ready to do a burnout, traction control will kick in and you are going to think you're doing a burnout. It's gonna sound just like you're doing this fabulous burnout. Ooh, you're killing it. And you're gonna eventually even see smoke. You're gonna be like, ooh, wee, ooh, I'm doing that burnout. Everybody pointing at you, you excited, because people pointing at you, they looking at you, yeah, 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 they're like, you, you think you're just doing a massive burnout, you start doing it harder, then all of a sudden you hear a click, 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 You were not doing a burnout because you had traction control on. You just messed up your whole transmission. And that's what they was trying to do, fool, tell you to stop. But I digress. Turn traction control off when you are doing a burnout. Now what I do to make sure and I still do this, you are going to want to turn the car on. Look out your side mirror. Turn it all the way down like this, facing your tire as far as it can go. So while you're doing that burnout, you can see if your tire is actually spinning. There has been times, because I'm not paying attention, I'm thinking I'm doing a, doing a burnout, but the tire's not spinning. Then I'm like, oh shit, that's embarrassing. Turn traction control off, tire gets to spinning, everybody's happy. So definitely turn your mirror down so you can see your tire and make sure it's spinning. That's very, very important. Now, as we were just talking about, you have stock tires. At this point, after you've done your, done your burnout, I would advise you, especially if you don't know the condition of your tires, turn traction control back on. Here's why. The adrenaline going, you excited, you watching the light, you hear the car next to you, everything is just going. You nail the gas, Tra traction control is off, it's a close race, or maybe it's not a close race. You're excited, by the beam you stay in it, your tire starts spinning, you still stay in it because you think you can pull it off, then a boom you run into the wall or you run into the car next to you. Now everybody has had a bad day and you'll never go back to the track again. Use traction control initially just until you calm your nerves, learn what the car is gonna do, figure it out. Now if you wanna have a hero run and just turn it off because you've been driving cars forever or maybe you've been dry, running your car on the street and you just wanna take it to the track, then leave it off. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out one way or the other, either way it goes. Now, you're staging your car. There's lights. There's like two rows of double yellow lights. There's three rows of yellow lights and there's a green light. You creep up to the starting line after you've done your burnout until you like the, that first row of yellow double bugs. Then now you're gonna really 
creep up real slow. And how you're gonna do that is your left foot will always be on the brake, your right foot will be on the gas. So you kind of just maneuvering that. You can practice this at the house. You ain't gotta even be at the track. Practice it, practice it. When that yet second row of double yellow lights is lit, be on the lookout because you think it's gonna go very quickly. Then you'll see the three rows of yellow lights start to light. One, two, three. When that third row of lights is lit, that's when you get off the brake and you floor it. Do not wait to the green light. If you wait to the green light, you've already lost the race. Because humans, there's a sudden, certain delay from the time you see something to the time you react. So to compensate from that, you're going on the yellow, so by the time you react, it's on the green. That's what they call reaction time. Oh, so this is your first time out. You had traction control on, you were super slow. That's okay, but you got to feel how it feels to go down the track and you just keep progressing from, from there. There's a lot more I can tell you, but I hope this will get you started. I don't want to make this video last a lifetime. This your boy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you can see me because it seems like it's dark in here.